In this video I'm going to show you how you can find the Maclaurin series of the hyperbolic cosine of x. This is very simple to do, so we've got the basic formula for the Maclaurin series, it's the Taylor series when n equals 0, and if you expand this formula out using summation notation, you get this expansion here, and all we're going to do is fill in this. So we're going to find the values of the function and its derivatives at 0. So let's start by finding the um, derivatives. So let's just say we'll call this f of a, and a will later be 0. So the function starts as um, the hyperbolic cosine of x, then we take the derivative, we get sine hyperbolic, and then take the derivative again, and it goes back to cosine, and if we take the derivative another time, we're going to get sine back again. So this pattern repeats, it goes cos sine, cos sine, cos sine. Um, so it switches between the hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine. So now let's evaluate this. So this is 0. Well, the hyperbolic cosine of 0 is 1. It's very similar to normal. And then the derivative, well that's going to be 0. The double derivative, that's going to be 0. But the, uh, that's going to be 1. And then the third derivative, this is back to sine, uh, hyperbolic sine, and that's going to be 0. So you notice the pattern, 1, 0, 1, 0. So let's apply this pattern here. So well, that's going to be 1. This one's going to be 0. This is going to be 1. Then this one's going to be 0. And then this is going to be 1. And so on. And then this will be 1 or 0, depending if it's odd or even. So, what are we left with? So, well, this series here is just going to become 1 plus. Well, this is gone, so jump to here. So, we've got the x squared. So, 1 times x squared over 2 factorial. This whole thing's 0. So, we're left with this. So, we've got x to the 4th over 4 factorial. So, um, is there any way that we can write this as a series? Um, and yes, we could say that this is equal to the sum, n equals 0, this is a different n, this is n just for this thing, n equals 0 up to infinity, it's an infinite series, of x to the 2n over 2n factorial. So you'll notice when n is 0, you're getting x to the power of 0, which is 1, over 0 factorial, which is 1, so you get 1. Moving n equal 1, you get um, x to the 2 times 1, which is 2, so x squared. And then 2 times 1 is 2 factorial, and x is 2. You're going to get 2 times 2, which is 4, so x to the 4th. 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 factorial. This series works. Hence, this is the sigma notation version of the Maclaurin series of cosh x, and you can get as many terms as you like by continually expanding this through various ends. Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful to you, and thank you.